of the co uh, poster chairs. And uh, this year, we have uh, in total uh, 227 posters uh, in this venue. Uh, this is a, a great number, so I really appreciate your contribution for a poster session. And uh, well, please explain the award. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, this is uh, Shuba Yang from uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. And uh, this this um, one of the co chairs. And uh, uh, this year we have a lot of uh, submissions, and uh, we select uh, two thirds of them. And uh, pa uh, half of the poster are from the poster tracker, and uh, another half of the poster are from the conference conference tracker. And and uh, we divide the posters to three days. So each day we have different uh, posters, and uh, we also formed a um, poster award committee, and so have senior um, researchers who will look at all the posters and, um, and uh, you can talk, talk with them and then they will choose the best poster from the three days posters. And uh, uh, the award will be announced uh, on Wednesday night uh, uh, at closing session. Okay, so I think that's what I want to say. So, uh, so next enjoy the fast forwarding of the post uh, posters, okay. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, this year we have uh, so much posters, so uh, we can just uh, give uh, 20 seconds for uh, each uh, poster presenter. Uh, we are very sorry for this, but uh, yeah, uh, I hope uh, you can say, uh, you can advertise your uh, poster presentation. And uh, here uh, we have an uh, example of a poster fast forwarding slide. Uh, you can see time limitation at the uh, right bottom side. So if the uh, circle uh, is uh, completely transparent, then your time is uh, gone. So yeah, please uh, just look at this. And yeah, uh, let's start uh, actual <laughs> fast forwarding session. So please come to front side. And Hello, I'm Yui Osato from the University of Electro Communications. We designed an optical system that realizes high speed movement of meter image without a linear actuator. I will show you the video. Please come 001 booth. Hi, I'm Eko Kamei from the University of Tokyo, and we developed a projector which can project invisible data on top of high quality color images. And we have a demo video to show you, so please come to Booth 002. Uh, thank you. In this poster paper, we proposed a real time and accurate occlusion handling method for virtual and real. This method can adapt to multiple layers and uh, can achieve partial occlusion. Thanks. Hi, my name is Dong Hyun Hwang from Tokyo Institute of Technology. Today we present a mono eye system which estimates various 3D pose using an ultra wide egocentric camera. So please visit our booth and discuss this research together. Thank you. on my hello I come from Beijing Institute of Technology uh, in this paper, we propose a single lung uh, encoder decoder for better contextual information learning in cost aggregation for theorem matching, and uh, this improves the performance of three distance reconstruction. Thank you. Hello, my name is Adrian, and this is Tristan. We're from the University of Wyoming, and with an eye towards reducing cyber sickness in the future, we wanted to see if we could increase the degrees of freedom on omnidirectional treadmills. So 
We decoupled the head rotation from the body rotation so you could actually move and look around. Come check us out outside. Hi, I'm Lee Kent from uh, the University of Bristol. And I've been looking at a project with three facets, um, digital twinning, which is a synchronous pairing of the virtual and the physical, um, engaging citizens with city planning, and looking at how early in the design process that people can contribute to their communities. Um, I'm one of the many red shirts helping out, so if I'm not at the poster, please uh, just email me and I'll get in touch as soon as I can. Hi, we propose an excavation simulation system in VR for prehistory archaeological application. We classify the motion of the user into two types and three phases. Um, uh, please visit poster 009. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm from the Meiji University. Um, our research is about the uh, VR sickness. If you want to know uh, what factors can uh, determine the VR, a degree of the VR sickness, please come to uh, listen to my pr presentation. Thank you. Hi, everyone. We present an interactive tabletop 3D display. This is an all-in-one system which has a conical screen and coils as sensors. The system detects tiny wires markers moving around 3D images. So by tracking the hands or sticks, uh, you can interact with 3D images. Thanks. Hi, this poster proposes to reduce cyber sickness during navigation by deforming the geometry of the virtual scene surrounding the user by slowing down the perceived movement of the scene. So first experiment showed no significant impact on navigation quality nor immersion. So if you want to know more, please come by my poster number 12 over there. Thanks. Oh, actually, this is not mine. The, the title is Head Pointer or Eye Gaze, which helps more in MR remote collaboration. And the poster number is 13. I think that someone is uh, uh, there over around the poster, so please come to the poster number 17. Yeah, and this is mine. Uh, I'm from NTT. <laughs> and the, uh, we, uh, I, uh, we will show that a kind of optical illusion occurs when the shadows are pre uh, casted onto the 3D object. And the, uh, we can, that, uh, that phenomenon can be utilized in the projection mapping technique. Please, please come to my poster. Thank you. Hi, this is not mine either. Uh, localizing te teleoperator gaze and 360 hosted telepresence. Uh, come see that poster. <laughs> okay, so here we're repurposing 15,000 manually labeled uh, images, face images from casual photography and uh, adaptively spherical warping those images suitable for the camera intrinsics for head-mounted displays uh, cameras. Uh, and we compare with commercial apps which fare, fail in that circumstance. Hi, we developed the application in order to improve people's crisis awareness of the disaster in peacetime. CG flood and fire smoke is displayed to pine both on the real scenery using Google Tango technology. Uh, it was very useful for improving crisis awareness, especially young children. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm from Earth. And we are trying to get occupational therapists to use virtual reality in their regular rehab programs. Come find out more at our poster number 19. Thanks. Hello, uh, I'm Muhammad Cerdaus from KISS. We are proposing a hybrid camera system that provides a local HMD user with forfeited view. Forfeited view it has a high resolution in central area and low resolution in other area. And so please come to our booth. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tabitha Peck from Davidson College. In the real world, spatial processing is enhanced near your real hands. All right, we were wondering if it was also enhanced near your virtual hands. Come see poster 23 to find out more. Hey, good morning, 
Everyone, I'm Hui from Cost. So we propose a method that split all the gestures into several components, so the user can define, can customize the gestures, and the uh, uh, algorithm can recognize them without training. Uh, please come and, and have a look. Thank you. Hey, I'm uh, Gwendal Simon from uh, Adobe Research. Uh, I will present here in this poster uh, the delivery of 3D textures. And uh, to do that, we uh, encode the textures into a video. Hi, this is Brandon Huynh from UC Santa Barbara. Uh, we use convolutional neural networks to detect objects seen through the HoloLens and automatically generate uh, semantic labels. And then we project them into 3D and aggregate them over time to generate object registrations. And we do this in support of AR language learning applications. Come see us. Hello, everyone. My name is Akira Nakamura. My poster's title is Virtual Rotation with Visual Haptics. This content is about redirected walking. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, in, my in my study, we focus on the inhibition of concentration by surrounding environment, and we propose a concentration improvement technique by using a video CSRA HMD, and we reduce the uh, uh, visual noise, like uh, movement of humor and things. Thank you. My ID is 028. Thank you. My name is Jens Herder, and I will um, display um, an experiment where we compare an audio avatar with a visual avatar. And the result is obvious, an avatar helps. But the interesting part is how we kept the experiment stable. So we had three different kinds of uh, questionnaires. Hello, everyone. In this paper, we design an experiment to analyze the usability of gesture interaction in virtual driving systems. And we evaluated the interaction completion rate, lower interaction completion time, and the VN demand. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ping Han from National Taiwan University. Uh, virtual reality has become uh, being a promise technique to provide an immersive experience. However, if user want to sit down while immersed in virtual reality, the chair might not be suitable because of the inconsistency between the physical and the virtual chair. Please come to visit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kylie Kruzanich. I'm from Stanford University. Um, I worked on a project where we replaced traditional active tracking with cheap retroflectors to decrease cost and computation power. So come by. <laughs> My main research is about like, creating customer-specific service robot in VR theme park. And one of the problems I struggled with was uh, detecting faces with the uh, HMDs. So uh, please come to uh, Booth 34 to find out more. Thank you. So uh, the reality of uh, telepresence walking is proved by uh, omnidirectional um, uh, mobile uh, avatar robot. So uh, th that is um, can, that can be um, can tracking the uh, human's head motion. Yuri Hesse, Ghent University. So gaze tracking is a difficult problem, but it has many uh, applications. I suggest a, a contextual bandit learn learning based approach um, for 360 degree gaze predictions. Come and see me at poster 36. Hi, Mario Lorenz. Um, for our uh, surgical VR simulator where you can ream human acetabula, we developed a tactile remote that gives you the vibration feeling uh, when you ream uh, acetabula by um, integrating uh, vibration motors. Oh, hello, everyone. This paper proposed a real time realization method for 3D magnetic field based on the augmented reality technique. 
uh, which can not only overlap the magnetic field lines in real time, but also simulates the approximate sparse distribution of uh, magnetic field flu flux lines in space. Hey guys, so if you want to check about how do I use different augmented reality, virtual reality headset with some hand trackers for connecting people from two different locations into one place, feel free to check on my poster on 39th. Thank you. Hi, uh, we propose a new game for redirected walking. If you are apply rotation gain while continuing to walk without stopping, the rotation axis will shift, and as a result, the walking path will also shift. So we propose a turning gain to solve this problem. Thank you. Hi, I'm Frank from Columbia University in New York City. Uh, come check out our work about uh, building an outdoor real augmented reality system using off-the-shelf AR headset and combining it with the uh, RTK GNSS for uh, centimeter level accuracy. Come check it out. Hi everyone, I'm from Shandong University, China. In this paper, we present a toolkit for easily constructing mixed reality apps that can be experienced in real time in large indoor physical space where homeless. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, in this work our first aim was to investigate which set of questionnaires would be useful to assess simulator sickness and presence. Our second question was to uh, investigate the influence of simulator sickness and presence on user's experience. Uh, please feel free to come by on the poster stand 43. Thanks. Hi, I'm Hisaiki Sasaki from NHK. Uh, today I will uh, introduce uh, more effective color reduction method for thin integral uh, photographic display system uh, using uh, polarization control. Please visit 44. Okay, this is not mine. <laughs> and give me a second. But it's probably wonderful work, so check, come check it out. <laughs> so, but why doesn't it advance? Okay, so typing on a hacked keyboard in virtual reality. If you're interested in that topic, come visit our poster, or better, our demo, which is Demo 24. I'm Jens Grubert from Kuburg University of Applied Sciences, and happy to talk uh, with you about how to get your uh, fingers dirty on that keyboard. Hi, uh, I'm from University of Technology, Sydney. So we're uh, interested in uh, the difference of learning outcomes when different uh, VR devices are used for uh, assembly task training. The short answer, yes, the expensive one do provide uh, better learning performance. If you want to know the details, please talk to me. Thank you. Hi, everybody. We're from the Department of Visualization at Texas A&M University. Um, and we are researching information placement in virtual reality using eye tracking. So if you're interested, come check us out. Hi, I'm Mitchell uh, from the University of South Australia. Uh, my research is based on uh, mixed presence, mixed reality. Uh, this is our first implementation. So if you want more information, I'm happy to hear feedback as well. So check it out, please. Thank you. Um, hi, Huyen from the University of New South Wales, Sydney. So today uh, we're presenting a, a collaborative immersive uh, system that supports a, a collaborative exploration of the data, a multi-dimensional data, using the, a combination of star coordinates and star plot. So for, for, for more information, please come to our uh, booth 51. Thanks. Okay, so this is not my poster, um, but it looks great. So it's called a six DOF teleexistence drone controlled by a head-mounted display, number 52. It looks amazing, so please come. Okay, so hi, I'm Greg from Paris, France. Um, we show how to take a 360 video and automatically transform it into a 3D scene with animated textured avatars uh, for interactive VR. Uh, so I'm poster number 53. Please come see my presentation. Thank you. 
Hello, I am Nathan from Oscar University. I'm working on user, using a virtual agent to guiding people in museum context. We focus on how to explain the user in a, a more a, a many information content in the painting. And for more information, please come to my poster. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, we develop a gastric manipulation system using image to image translation advanced generative adversary nets. Our system can change the taste and type of food dynamically. Uh, please come, come to our, our posters. Thank you. Hi, I'm from the University of Colombo School of Computing. And uh, we've presented a solution uh, using virtual reality for CPR training that uses off-the-shelf hardware. Uh, which makes the uh, solution affordable for developing economies. So if you want to learn more, visit my poster at uh, 056. Thank you. I'm Eric from the University of Maryland. Uh, the connected nature of AR devices raises serious concerns for the privacy of your visual information. We present T2VC, the first visual cryptography system for practical use in AR headsets. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Rofei Du from University of Maryland College Park and Google. What if you could remotely meet your friends from the New York City with the immersive 3D environments in Osaka? Please check out Geology.com, a mixed reality social media platform of reconstructing an interactive mirrored world with geotech social media and 360-degree panoramas. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, one of the main challenges of the mechanical designer when having to design a system that moves in, in, in 3D space, such as a robotic system, is precisely to define the task, the motion of the system. So we have created this virtual reality environment to compare it to the traditional ways that the mechanical designer uses. And that's it. Hey there, uh, my name is Rod Krishnan. I'm a student at Clemson University. Come check out our poster which talks about an immersive uh, driving simulator platform we developed to study cyber sickness in VR. P.S. I didn't list my name there twice trying to pull a fast one. My twin brother is a co-author on this. We developed a code awareness tra training tool with virtual reality. Come see players with IP by buzz eye view to first person view, transition and improved performance. Poster 61, this concept really apply to, apply to any board game, including your favorite activity. Hello, I'm Stephen from the University of, um, Victoria University of Wellington, and we are presenting a method for improving real-time composition of virtual objects into underwater 360 degree videos using image-based lighting, detected light source, and simulating caustics. Um, VR scenarios can have an effect on people's emotion and possibly also their future intentions. And we wanted to find out if immersion or navigation has the largest effect. And if you want to know, come to the poster. Hi, I'm Jerry from CWI Amsterdam. We measure and compare quality of experience into two social virtual reality systems. We are welcome to come to talk with us. We are hiring a postdoc. Thank you. Hi, I'm Adrian from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Um, the virtual tablet supplies a touch interaction in virtual reality on a real haptic surface. Uh, using the uh, HTC Vive Pro. Uh, if you want to hear more about the virtual tablet or how it compares to a laser pointer-based uh, selection approach, uh, please talk to me at poster 65. Hello, everyone. In this poster, we presented the DeepSmooth, a new hands-free interaction approach for VR. So we can select uh, objects by moving head forward and backboard. And uh, welcome to see our poster. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Victor from the University of Alberta. This is Virtual uh, Game VR, which is a, a serious game platform to help older adults to exercise at home that personalize all the elements of the game. Thank you. No, no this is my poster, uh, right.
Hello, I'm, I'm Isaac from Gifu University. Latency is important in VR study. Uh, however, most VR study don't indicate latency value. In this case, you can't compare this uh, for uh, each other. Uh, so we are studying to establish a standard latency measurement method. Thank you. Hello, I'm Anthony Steed, and I'm wearing my Microsoft Research hat. Uh, we're interested in the relationship between embodiment level and distance compression, in particular why people who show low embodiment walk slower and uh, take fewer steps. The poster is right outside the door. You won't miss it. Uh, hi, I'm Lewis from uh, University of Otago, and I'm presenting uh, sp spherical structure for motion for casual capture of stereo panoramas. Um, so basically doing structure of motion with a spherical motion constraint or fixed radius just to create these uh, stereo panoramas. And uh, yeah, thanks. Hello everyone, in this work we applied a requirements framework, framework based uh, for long-term invention in VR based on the maximum hiring class of needs and the design of VR office environment to verify this framework. Thank you. Hello, I'm from Shandong University, China. Uh, we developed uh, we developed a uh, maxed reality storytelling system, which takes ton which takes origami as a tangible universe data. Uh, so contact us, please, if you want to know any detail. Thank you. Morning, I'm Bian Yulong from Shandong University. And the purpose of this work is to explore the weak association problem between flow and performance in virtual environment. Uh, and we uh, provide a, a part-time and did some ex uh, empirical experiments. Thank you. Hello, I'm from Shenzhou University. We developed an agent-based virtual into training system. It aims to help college students with high shining level to improve their skills and reduce their anxiety before they take a real interview. Thank you. Hello from the University of Central Florida. Our research is on training in augmented reality. And in this poster, we compare course construction between a desktop and AR environment. Thank you. OK, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, the end of the uh, uh, poster fast forwarding. So uh, and uh, uh, just for today. Uh, and uh, we have a similar number of uh, poster presentation on uh, 26 and 27 as well. So uh, please don't miss it. And 